A vital witness undergoes hypnosis on Howard's Way. That's tonight at 8pm. But before that, it's time to meet the Thames men. How are you doing? Yeah. Good, sir. Uh, good, sir. How are you? I'm, I am excellent. I'm enjoying... The, I, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm Alex. I'm in Colorado. And what's your favourite jam? What, like, 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 like raspberry jam or strawberry jam or things like that? Yeah. Or do you mean like a musical no. jam? No, no, jam. Because <laughs> I, I was just going back to basics, you know. You know, everything's so hunky-dory and you can get this and get that. I just miss toast and jam sometimes. I'm just oh, wondering. Hot butter you... toast and jam. Oh, oh. hot buttered crumpet, a eh? Jenkins, you know, <laughs> naked rolling down a hill. Um, what's your favourite jam? <laughs> well, who's Jenkins, by the way? Is that <laughs> Sorry, old school that? days, eh? Oh, old school days. <laughs> I, tell you. Yeah. I think I like a bit of, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, a black no no a red a blackberries or black currants black currant jam I think is probably raspberry jam or you, black currant jam. I had you pegged as a gooseberry. A gooseberry jam? No, gooseberry fool is my favourite. I love gooseberry oh, fool. You know gooseberry fool? fruit. Yeah, they, they are <laughs> testicles of Satan. They really yeah, are. <laughs> but when you make them like gooseberry fool, they're really good. They are good. No, they're not. They're not. It's it is it is testicles of Satan spewing up with his. <laughs> you have a bad liquid. experience of those. I, I there was a shop in Cornwall uh, down down where he's gone holiday, and they did gooseberry ice cream uh, with a uh, Cornish clotted cream, and it was magic. Oh God, Jeez. <laughs> I love a jar. Which is I your jam it. then? I, I bet you're a bit of a strawberry jam, a bit like straight down the middle, a bit pr- traditional strawberry jam. Are you? No, actually. I really like <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said strawberry jam. I know, I know, I did. A uh, homemade strawberry jam, you just can't. There's, there's something, God, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we will get on to music. There's something very different about English strawberries and what we used to do. Now, back in the old day, we're going to reminisce here. Back in the old day, George and I and a few others, we would all meet up on top of Druid's Hill. It's actually mm-hmm. called Druid's Hill. And we would be exploring the old herbage. Right, and we were young or whatever, and then we would all arrive with a small pot of cream, and then what we'd do after you've had after you've experimented on your herbage, we'd walk down the hill to the pick your own farm. <laughs> In the middle of the night, we would just get our little pot of cream and just just pick your own strawberries and eat them. Oh, dear, there, oh, was the yeah, there is a freshly picked strawberry can't be beat. I did one of my summer jobs when I was a kid. I worked on a pick your own farm, strawberry farm. And it was the worst job I ever had. It was like bloody hard work. And I only did that for a couple of months. And I was like, blood bugger that. That was too hard. So anyway. I, I also cool. worked on Robin Cloak's farm. And it was so freaking hard. I, I only <laughs> lasted a week. But I do remember I had a weed the onion patch, right? God, okay. blimey. All you people. <sighs> There's nothing worse than weeding an onion patch. Anyway, I fucked off home. I had enough and I had lunch and I actually, you know, and I watched Neighbours and everything. And then I came back to work and I was back on my knees, you know, weeding. And uh, he came up and he drives up and he winds down the window and goes, all right, you can fuck off for lunch now. <laughs> I was like, all right. Then. <laughs> anyway, he wasn't the best businessman and he went bust. <laughs> you, you, growing, growing onions. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, you can't really make a living growing onions. Oh, no, oh, no, there no. you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, does that mean thank- we can do the music? Now you got that. Out yeah. Now thing. we're over the misty m- reminiscing time. What okay. have we got on the doors, George? Ah, oh, well, it's an odds and sods uh, week, and we are. Here's one actually. I'm really looking forward to. It's a classic. It's Queen in 1974. And it's called Stone Cold Crazy. So, and it's, uh, I think it's uh, Live at the Rainbow is the performance. Now, the notes about this, some quick short notes, if you don't mind. Yes. Um, it says, this Queen song is often given credit as being the start of the speed metal genre. The wild intensity, including some true punk rock drumming from Taylor, saw it named by VH1 as the 38th best hard rock song of all time. 
Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And this was 74, my friend. 74. Well, actually, I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Um, Today, Freddie Mercury, here's a Yamaha piano that he wrhodt uh Bohemian Rhapsody on, just sold. Mm. Do you know how, how much, much for? A couple Any of million, guesses? I reckon. Well, go on then. Go on. Give me, give me, uh, give me, a, give me, a, give me a guess, mate. Two, two point five million. Lower. Okay. Uh, one million. Higher. <laughs> we could be here all night. Tell me what it is. Put me out of my One point seven million for that piano. Well, and wow. um, uh, he also, you know, he, the the the, you know, the lady he left everything to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she sold it all off. And uh, she um, uh, also the lyrics for Bohemian Rhapsody, the handwritten note, but he he called it. Um, uh, it started off as Mongolian Rhapsody. Oh and, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that went for obviously went for a lot of money. But she looked after the estate. But I think she just wants to move on and be done with it all now. So it all went up for sale. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. Well, well, you know, hopefully someone has got it. They appreciate it. So um, yeah. Anyway, all right. All right. I see. I saw, I'm sorry. Just, just side track. I saw an article nearly, today. Nearly, uh, nearly, ladies and gentlemen, we <laughs> nearly got to the music, but we just managed to, you know, hit reverse. <laughs> Put the brakes on. Uh, it was. It was. Um, this, there was this kid, a 15 year old kid, who was in class, and and it was talking about a piano, like a grand piano, and the length of the piano strings. Did you see this? And it, it, the, the, if you look at a piano string, it's wire wound with copper. And that's because if you had to have the full length to make the note, you'd have to have a huge long piano. And he's like, I wonder what a piano sounds like. And so he built a 15 foot long piano so he could use unwound pure, pure notes, pure things. And it's the most ridiculous grand piano you ever look. It's like, it's like disappears like a Cadillac. And uh, apparently that's how you get the a the exact note without having to wire around the strings. Did you know that? Is he from Kazakhstan? <laughs> Why do they wire strings there? Is that something? Or no, something? but they're quite inquisitive. <laughs> I think it was quite an impressive art feat to build a 15 foot piano so that you could just hear what it sounded like. Anyway, sorry. Should we carry on? No, that's the type of kid I would not want to employ. <laughs> you know, it's just like, he's not the kid that would piss off. Well, first of all, yeah. he's, he's never going to end up in the onion patch, is he? He might end up in the piano plant, though. Might so, end up know. in the piano plant, but he's too smart for me. I'm there picking <laughs> onions. He's making grand pianos. Yeah, that's true. When you're 15, that's pretty crazy. But it looked pretty cool. I anyway. know. All right. All right, so. Stone Cold Crazy <laughs> Queen live at the Rainbow in 74. Rainbow is in the UK. Are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Count, Count me, in. me in, big boy. Three, two, one, kaboom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you like my claws? The real diamond. It's a present from the devil himself. You don't believe me. They don't believe me. Right now, we'd like to do some rock and roll. I'll have to tell you what. This is a number of a sheer heart attack album. Stone, go on, quick! Here come the log on a break 
That's actually that's, remarkable. That's amazing. Because in 74, we were coming out with the hangover of Woodstock, long hair, denim, you know, 20-minute yeah. guitar solos. That was, yeah. uh, Chris was right. That, was, that sounded like, little elements of it sounded like just modern metal. It was. It was like, yeah, the speed metal, the 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 just like oh, I was so good. Shame, shame. The clip, the audio was pretty atrocious. But even yeah. that, his vocal cut through beautifully. His and his his intonation was amazing. But the yeah, the drumming and guitar work on that. It it, get, it reminded me of that. That again, we I keep on mentioning it, which because it was amazing. That Black Sabbath, early early Black Sabbath track we uh, saw, yeah, great. where great, where great. they are at the height of their powers. You know, they're yeah. not just regurgitating stuff. They are original tight playing absolutely at their sort of purest you know and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing yeah i can't remember his name now who's the guitarist come on in he's because he's, just age has gone well, Brian May? yeah yeah Brian, his, Brian. him and his dad talk about geek talk about making pianos him and his dad made that guitar oh really okay oh, yeah. and, and he's and had now all he's his astronomer life. Oh, he is, he is, yeah, he was studying astronomy. I can't even say that fucking word. And uh, <laughs> it's up there. Um, uh, he, and, yeah, he's got, he's got a PhD in that, whatever. But uh, his, his dad uh, and him made that guitar in the shed, and he's still got the same guitar now. That's pretty and amazing. Good. Yeah. Freddie, what a front man. He is the front man of front men, really, isn't he? You know, just yeah. everything about him was, like, played to the crowd. He was... Like in that spotlight, he was, you know, his little chat beforehand. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Drummer, can't stand. Little, little really? Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but that, also, he drummed great then, though. It was he like, drums, but he's got many little legs. And, but I think he's got one of the highest recorded notes ever sung on a record. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty That's cool. That's how small he is. <laughs> 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 you just like it's always something isn't that it's always something. oh right but ladies and gentlemen we got a bonus haven't we oh but we're gonna do the scoring first nah, go on, come on let's do a scoring all right. like a are you sure scoring. all right then no. okay. do we have room on the electronic scoreboard yeah we can make it fit okay all so right. are you ready time for score score <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. The laser scoreboard mark three is here. Linda skin is up the top, and then it's got I can't read it. And Le then it's Liam got an F Hope. Yeah, and Liam Liam Alan Parsons, yeah. my mother's finest. Oh, A whole lot of good Parsons. stuff, but oh, I love that Alan Parsons. That's awesome. So, are we ready sir, right. to do a bit of scoring? We got Queen Stone Stone Cold Crazy. I think I went first last time. You go first. Ooh. Well, there's kind of two different marks, isn't there? Oh, you always complicate it. There's this song itself, which wasn't mm -hmm. great because, and I don't know, because it was hard to hear on the audio. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to find that in, uh, you know, but, and then there was a performance, which was absolutely killer. And then... There was the tastemaker for our brand new genre. That's got to count for something. It's got to count for something, hasn't it? Being mm -hmm. the first in the genre, actually just putting your nose, just putting the tip in and just saying, ah, yeah. new genre. We can do it. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can do it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to split it and I'm going to give, let's see, uh, I'm going to give six for the song, but I'm going to give... 2.2 for a brand new genre taster. Oh, so an 8.2 total. An 8.2 because, I mean, it really, I heard, I heard speed metal there in yeah, 74. Yeah, 8.2. Okay, I think it's a fair price. Well, I, I, I think, like, we did some Queen early on in the channel. And yeah. people say, oh, you've got to check out Queen at the Rainbow in 74 in particular. And so finally we get there. And uh, I, I 
I do think, uh, you know, you know, I'm a metal guy. You know, I, I, I love a bit, a bit of rock and metal. I, I and couldn't and, tell. I couldn't tell from your hair. Could, no, 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 exactly. It was either the, that the or cut. medieval. It was either that or medieval loot. It's a fine <laughs> line with you. Yeah, well, you know, exactly. It depends on the day of the week, really. But, but anyway, you. So we were saying. So I love a bit of metal, and so to see the the the, the early bones like the uh, of it, but with Freddie Mercury, who was sublime. We I never we never never fully appreciated him while we had him, or I didn't, and I regret that. And so I'm going to make up for lost time, and I'm going to go eight point six on that one. I oh, love Jesus that one. Christ yeah. Almighty, an eight point six. Mm. An eight point six. I, no. you know, I'm putting a marker down on this one. So, so, that's, uh, so a, that's, what's a, that's about a sixteen point eight. Thirty four. Thirty five. Exactly. Sixteen point <laughs> eight. So, shall we see where that goes? Let's round it up to an eight sixty. Oh, oh well, it's 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 not that far up the list actually. Really? You know? Yeah. No. No. It's 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 here. You know. Oh, we, we, where's that? Uh, that's between Jimmy. Uh, uh, Jimmy oh, who? Interested. Jimmy, Jimmy Joe, Stone Cold. Jimmy, that was Jimmy Barnes and Joe Bonamassa. So that's interesting. That was Stone should Cold. Should have been higher. Should have been higher than that. And then it's it's one above the knack and my Sharona. And the all time God, yeah, actually. And then the knack should be higher than that because that is the ultimate one yeah. hit, but not a one hit wonder. Ah, oh. Controversial, ladies and gentlemen. Controversial. I can hear your screams now. <laughs> that uh, that uh, mother's finest shouldn't be so high, but you know, I think a lot depends on like how we feel day of the week. You know, obviously it's a well, very scientific it, process we go into for this, don't we? Obviously, yeah. it's how we feel because we're freaking scoring it. <laughs> 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 you know, we don't actually take much output. You know, other opinions, but yeah, uh, no, actually, it, can we just move? Can we? Just, I, I think this is the last one, right, on the board. Shall we clear it? I think we get, we can get just, one more. Maybe. What, what, what do you want to do? I was going to say, just can't you bump it up a bit? Well, well like where? Where do you want to put it? Oh, oh, yeah. it's, it's, well, sorry. It's oh, <laughs> so, well, it's a laser board, Mark Three. Okay, uh, okay, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's it's going to be. Let's, let's see where it could go. It's going to be at eighteen point eight. All right. Oh, yes, that's better. That's where Queen should be. Uh, yes. Awesome. Okay, there you go. There we go. <laughs> yes. There Nothing you go, ladies and gentlemen. about this one. <laughs> Nothing. It's, it's, it, well, at least we've kept our integrity. Oh, obviously. Obviously. Okay, but we did mention we had a bonus, didn't we? <gasps> totally forgot about the bonus. Totally All right. <laughs> but we, let's not score the bonus because we, let's not score the bonus because we've lost, we kind of lost it on the, uh... <laughs> so, so we even have a little bit of a quick notes. Now the bonus, okay, this is going to be super interesting. This is Metallica doing Stone Cold Crazy live in Nimes in 2009. Uh, and it says Metallica used their cover uh, of the song as the B-side for Enter Sandman. It is a slightly harder version with lyrics, slightly changed to reflect that. Interesting. Uh, and I saw on Twitter, not that anyone should be on Twitter anymore, because it really is a sex cool. yeah. pool these yeah, yeah. days, um, that I saw this one, you know, uh, fish hook just trying to get fucking people. Uh, uh, what's, you know, most overrated band? A lot of people voted Metallica is one of the most overrated bands out there. I think Metallica are absolutely freaking class. I do too. You know, remember that video we did with in Russia with like a million people or whatever it was? Yeah. Absolute insanity. And uh, I, I did I tell you, I, I met um, a guy who was the monitor engineer uh, or the uh, for that show and wow. they had a hotel in Moscow uh, and the, yeah. the hotel was so dodgy uh, that uh, they all ended up sleeping on the stage. He slept in a flight case because <laughs> they were there for like a week or something. And he didn't want to go back to the hotel. So they just slept on the stage. <laughs> the the only weird. thing, bad thing about um, Metallica is n Lars because he's a complete knob. But they actually, <laughs> out of the whole music genre of, you know, kind of that speed, I mean, they are just, they are the kings of it. And, and they've oh. held a crown all the way up the top. Yeah, and the Black Album is insane. Absolutely insane. 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 Yeah, the, and the right. production quality and the sound of it is yeah. just amazing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I don't, no, think, no, yeah. I don't think they're overrated at all. I think they deserve that spot. Yeah, I, I love the lead guitar, Hammond, or whatever. Oh, uh, he's yeah. brilliant. All right, let's all do right. this, shall we? 
Are you ready, sir? I am. Metallica Stone Cold Crazy live in Nimes in 2009. Are you ready, sir? Three, two, one, go. That sound. Okay, let's use it. This is the part of the set where we get to play a cover song from a band who has inspired us to play music. And tonight's special band is Queen. Mm. <laughs> that was amazing. That was that like, was, yeah. No, nah, that was excellent. And I, you know, it's like you got to give you got to give well that little git Lars. He's actually quite a good drummer, isn't he? <laughs> but you've bad, actually got to give him kudos. There they are, the biggest metal band out, and they're giving a nod to Queen. And and you know, and it's a song from '74, and this is in 2009, and it still sounds amazing, and it's still relevant, yeah. and it is. You know, uh, and, and let's face it, Metallica, when you hear a Metallica song, you know it's Metallica. They have such a distinctive sound and they do it so well. Uh, but yeah, I, I loved it. It was awesome. That band is not overrated. That band is yeah. so yeah. tight. That's yeah. so, they, they are so professional. They've got such a tight crew. I mean, they, I mean, they must be hell to live with that band because, you know. <laughs> but, but, uh, but they, give, they give the people what they want as well, don't they? Let's face it. You know what I mean? The, the sort of, it is pure crowd-pleasing, balls-out rock, you know? Yeah. And that's what 
Yeah. yeah, that's what Metallica are, and why not? You know, they're not pretending to be anything else. So. No, absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, good for them. Wow, superb. That was excellent. Well done. We should do more Metallica. We should do more Queen. What should we do? Put it down there. <laughs> like, sadly, oh, yeah, while you're down there, uh, like and subscribe uh, and join Patreon. We had another person join Patreon today. It was very nice, so thank you very much. And uh, Yes, yeah, so uh, we really do appreciate it all, and... Um, so we couldn't do it without you all. So thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Love that one. I love a double banger, if you know what I mean, missus. And I'll see <laughs> you on the flip side. Will do. See you on the flip side. Ciao. Bye.